today the MLAs will have to decide whether they want someone from the prison in Bangalore to rule them or someone from the Secretariat of Fort St. George, Chennai should rule them. Mm -hmm. This is the point before them. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> according to me, whatever votes these MLAs who are in the resort are exercising, you can't say it is a vote exercised by them out of their free will mm -hmm. because since the last several days they are away from their family and friends. Mm -hmm. They are away from their constituency. Now, free will voting means now their original leader is dead, mm -hmm. for whom there was a mandate. Mm -hmm. Now they must decide whom to vote. Mm -hmm. So they must consult their constituency. Mm -hmm. Whom do you want? Mm -hmm. They are not given that opportunity. Mm -hmm. They are all huddled together in the resort in the midst of hundred and odd MLS. Mm -hmm. Where is the chance of their free thinking or free uh, deliberation and uh, consultation with family, friends or members of the constituency. Mm -hmm. Therefore, according to me, correct thing the governor should have brought in a president's rule for at least two or three months mm -hmm. so that the normalcy prevails mm -hmm. and the uh, MLS are free to exercise their franchise, not under threat or coercion but out of uh, free will. Whatever vote they cast today, you can't take it as a vote cast by them out of their free will because they are suddenly brought from the resort to this place in a group and there is a sort of undue influence on them. There is a sort of coercion on them. Therefore, their votes will not be proved. Secondly, I very strongly appeal, at least the speaker will permit secret ballot mm -hmm. so that to some extent at least some of the MLAs may be feel free to exercise their franchise.